so ncix fix error even today if you google how to fix ncix error so this is the guest id uh, on just below the youtube video you will see the instructable where it says how to solve nc sorry nsis not ncis nsis error so uh, if you try to run any application from a folder this is the most common issue and if you scroll down it says a lot of things but it doesn't solve it however there is a person who has wrote easy solution move the installation folder into another drive or at least the root drive mostly problem solved so this is the reason earlier i thought that so this i wrote six years ago earlier i wrote that for some reasons all places manager window we cannot be found by windows that is not actually right i know what is the problem here and that is what i'm going to talk so there are a bit of you know good comments and whatnot anyways so the problem happens is when you do the windows install and it's a brand new machine if you type your username in your local language in non-english language i have only seen this happening in user accounts that have a non-english username okay and you can't change your username just by changing your you know account name if you go into account name in settings even if you try to change your username it will not actually change the name of your folder so what i am talking about is if you go head to c drive and you head to users apart from the default and public this will be your username this username is set when you first boot up your machine when you're when you have your first windows install and when you have your brand new system brand new laptop and you're asked to enter your credentials this username is chosen at, at that point of time and that is the reason that i have you know uh, always asked people to set up your account locally and then set up uh, set it up later anyways the point is if you are making a new microsoft account when you have your new laptop keep your username in english do not use any non-english character do not use any non-english character be it spanish english hindi don't use it because what will happen is many applications that are inside it you might think that yeah all your applications are installed in you know program files but that's not actually right if i show you a lot of the application including chrome are actually if you see this location it is nashant app data roaming and in the app data folder there are a lot of lot of uh, software that run directly i think of course there is google chrome so google and uh, okay i'm having trouble remembering which softwares are here or not let me just do in dot exe and we will know open sesame will be open today so as you can see the uninstaller for cyberlink power director the obs studio updater and am i only searching in roaming okay that's why we are anyways the point is a lot of application and especially something that you put on your desktop or downloads folder that is where the problem arises okay as you can see uh this is installer this is installer this is not an installer this is installer yeah never mind don't worry the point is the default location for your desktop and the default location for your downloads is actually inside your user the default is that and when you try to extract something that has a long file name or some special characters in it and when try to extract it or try to run it the most likely the error that you will get is an sis error okay so the point is when you uh, with a new system keep your username 
to English characters only. That's it. Thank you.